Hello there, everybody, and welcome to me being a friggin' mad lad and figuring out how to record PS2 games on my computer. Do not ask me how I have done this, how I have figured this out, but this is a Let's Play of Mercenaries 1 Playground of Destruction. This game is awesome. Look at my shitty ass PS2 controller. Look at it, it's all freaking broken and shit. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna do a um a let's play of this game. It's it's uh you play as a mercenary during the Korean War, I guess. And uh you get to choose between three people, so you can be like Chris Jacobs, he's American, he's thirty-five. He's he got five years with the XOPS group, which is what they work with. He's the son of a U.S. Army colonel and a Korean interpreter, so he speaks Korean. Um, Jacobs joined the XOPS after serving for seven years in the U.S. Army's Combat Applications Group, CAP, CAG. Uh, Jacobs' physical training allows him to withstand bullet wounds and shrapnel that would incapacitate other operatives. And then you get this girl, Jennifer Mui, she's British. She's 33, she's been with them for seven years, she draws her M16 training to go undetected in hostile environments. This, this combined with her extensive covert, covert combat experience and abilities makes her highly qualified for North Korean theater. She can mess, she can play in the theater. Then you get this crazy guy, Matthias Nilsson. He's Swedish, he's 31, he's only been with them for one year. Nilsson is un, is an unproven ex agent, but his record scores in the physical proportion of the entrance exam show great promise. Nilsson's physical agility and fearless demeanor make him very effective on the North Korean theater. I'd rather play as Jacobs because he's the American and I'm the American. So that's the only reason why. <laughs> so we're going to play as him. Now watch us, you watch old propaganda. Reports from Pyongyang indicate North Korean military forces have staged a violent coup. The Royal Australian Navy intercepted a North Korean freighter. Authorities alerted after uncovering a cache of nuclear warheads in the ship's cargo bay. The warheads were intended for sale to known terrorist elements. Troops poured across the DMZ and into North Korea, intent on dislodging the newly installed regime of General Song. The president today reaffirmed the need for this peacekeeping mission. The general posted bounties today for the latest deck of That's 52. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna capture the deck of 52. They're all like people, evil people who, uh, XOPS operation situation from undisclosed location 104 UT 11 14. Can we have the lights off, please? Lights off, please. I forgot to Thank you. The subtitles, it's okay. <laughs> All right, Fiona, what have you got for us? Thanks. Okay, well, today the board is voting on the Sung Initiative. This is an unparalleled financial opportunity for XOPS, but it's high risk. North Korea is a quagmire. The Allies are stuck in it, and it's all because of this man here. Yes, we've been discussing this. Couldn't this force us into a, I don't know, a moral position? I mean, the guy's evil. He capped his own father after the coup. The media are all over it. Anyone operating in this theater is going to be famous. Maybe, but we're proposing sending in a single operative, low profile. And remember, North Korea is in total chaos. There's press on the ground, sure. But our agent could level half the country and no one would have any idea we were there. Mm -hmm. There's more. Apart from the 100 million for Sung, there's a significant bounty for every member of the deck of 52, especially if they're taken alive. Uh, does that say businessmen? Well, counterfeiting, slave trading. If you call that business, these guys are businessmen. <laughs> to sum up, we insert a single agent to go after the bounties. We can do something the Allies can't. Work directly with factions on the ground to gather hard intel on the deck of 52. Oh, come on, Fiona. The AN have never been shy about... Dealing with the Russian Mafia? Not with GSRN reporters everywhere. Listen, by working with the factions, we can take Sung's power base apart from the bottom up. Sung's gone into hiding, but if anyone knows where he is... It's his lieutenants. Got it, got it. Fiona, you make a compelling case. I think I know which way the board will go, but I have one more question. We're basically relying on a single agent here. Do you have someone in mind? Yes, I do. I believe I have the perfect candidate. It's me, it's me. 
It's our boy. It's our boy Christopher Jacobs, place of birth, San Jose, California. Jacobs dropped out of high school to follow his in his father's footsteps as a soldier, showing special interest in counterterrorism. Jacobs was selected for the first Special Forces Operational Detachment Combat Applications Group, also known as the Delta Force, which is way easier to say. Also, look at the little thing in the corner. It's so cool. Uh, I love this game. So yeah, we're going after um, this guy who took over North Korea. It's supposed to take place during the um, Korean War. He's named General Song, and we're going after his men. And they're all named after deck cards, and he's the Ace of Spades. So it's like we get bounties for doing them. We work with four factions, and they'll explain more as we go along. But hey, Chris, do you read me? It's our boy. Wake up. Just resting my eyes. What's our ETA? You're about 10 minutes from the DMZ drop zone. Damn, they were gonna bump me up to first class. <laughs> Listen, we're close. You might want to get your gear together for the drop. Chris is also very funny. Um, I need to see if I can turn on subtitles for you guys. I don't think there is subtitles in this game, no. Um, it's gonna be a common theme, I think. Oh, no, there is! Oh! Why they turn them off, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so yeah, this is our boy Chris Jacobs. He's a mercenary because that's what this game is. It's called Mercenaries, and um, I can't remember what that says. There's also Easter eggs and lots of stuff in this. So it takes place in North Korea um, during like the Korean conflict and stuff. Um, I think this is all fictional, but there was a guy named like General Song that killed his father and took over the regime and is now evil and is making nuclear warheads and we must stop him. You checked out your new PDA yet? A little bit. Seems nicer than the one we had in Libya. Hope it's more durable. We know you'll treat this machine a lot better. I'll do my best. I heard that. If you could stop abusing it for a minute, I want to test our <laughs> uplink. I've tapped into every satellite feed I can get my hands on. That means when I send you a blip on your PDA, you check it out. This thing play MP3s? Of course. Really? No. Remember MP3 guy, MP3 guys? Ah, oh, so long ago. So yeah, now I got a carbine as my gun. I know it's not state of the art. Never let me down before. So yeah, this game never came out for anything but the PS2. So I had to rig it up to play it, and I was dying to play it after playing Max Payne because I would always play those two things. M67. Standard issue frag grenades. Should get me started. These are my like, two favorite games besides Kingdom Hearts. Right, DMZ's in visual range. The drop zone is hot. We'll be coming in low and fast. You heard the man. Time to get going. Can I save? Please let me save. I can't save. Okay, I was gonna jump out of the plane, which I might still do. Because you can do that. Chris, you ready? Yeah. You know they say the DMZ is the most dangerous place Team on Earth. Team zone. You worried about me, Fiona? <laughs> I'm worried about our payday. Hundred million dollars. You think you could spend that much money in one lifetime? Yeah. Trust me. I'll die trying. Yeah. I can. There's a lot of stuff to buy with a hundred million dollars. Still a lot of money nowadays. Ready to go for a ride? Sure. You can totally jump out of here, by the way. I, um, I'm not going to, because you just die, but I'm just going to get into the end. Whatever, Scout. This is kind of badass. So then they loosen up the, the locks and they land. He fucking drives the, the car out of the friggin' plane. It's pretty cool. We never see that plane again, by the way. Uh, so here's where it comes really cool. This game has so much going for it. Oh, it's, so you can't go into the red Your place. primary objective is to get to the Allied HQ. Colonel Garrett is waiting for you. You can't go where the red spot is. This is the southern border to the DMZ. The Allied HQ is due north. Still in the tutorial, obviously. So you can't really... I think Select opens up the... Uh, yeah, so this is our PDA. This is where our map of the, oops, the map of the city, uh, the whole country is. It's actually really small right now. This is not even close to everything. Okay, so we have the deck of 52. We got nothing in there. Help! Restricted areas. This is where the red things on the map is. Um, sender, Xops reference status, subject, restricted areas. The Allies fly combat sorties throughout North Korea. They treat any in incursion into a restricted zone as a hostile act and respond immediately. It's best to stay out. Restricted zone just shows red shaded areas on your radar. 
Don't go in those, you'll get blown up. SNS radar! Um, subject SNS radar. The satellite navigation system, aka radar, is a real time satellite feed that appears in your heads up display. Fiona will mark important locations on the radar. I love Fiona, she's pretty funny. Um, so is Chris. They get a really good, um. Hey, what the hell's that? Merchant of Menace? <laughs> That's where you buy the, um, things. So we get the deck of 52. So yeah, we have all of these members, so each one of them has their own bounty. So, like, so this guy is worth 25,000. All of these guys are worth 25,000. Then you get to where the... Uh, where the Jack is. He's worth, uh, 100,000. The Queen is worth 115. The King, 125. And the Ace is worth 150. So, yeah, uh, I'll read those as we get information on them. But these are the guys we're after. So it goes all the way from spades to diamonds to hearts to ace. And this is the guy we're after. The $100 million guy. Choi Song wanted. General Song is the most dangerous man on earth. Intelligent, ruthless, and highly disciplined. He killed his father, the president, to prevent North Korea from um, capitalize, capitalize, capitulating into Western pressures, so basically not to be communist anymore, and currently holds the codes for the country's considerable nuclear stockpile. He must be stopped at all costs. So yeah, he, um, he's got nukes and stuff. And he does send off a nuke eventually. He's evil. So then we got all our, our, our um, factions that we get from, um, when we meet throughout the game. We got North Korea, who's always evil. We hate them, for some reason. I don't hate North Korea in real life, but that we hate them in this game, um, which is sad, but it's okay. Um, I love every country, <laughs> and every person in every country, until they give me a reason not to love them. And you get the allied nations, which is, you know, everybody. Um, it's kind of like NATO and all that stuff, so it's like every country that's on that. Then you get the South Korea, which is technically a part of the allies, but in real life, but they're their own separate faction here. They get China, who's got their own thing going on. They get the Russian mob, who has also got their own thing going on. So we're really friendly with the Allies, and that's what we're working for right now. So what they do basically is they take um, subcontracts from these guys to get information about the different members of the deck of 52. And that's how we figure it out. Also, you can destroy a lot of things in this game. I suck at drill. Oh my god. I'm not used to this control. Oh, this control. I might need a new one. I have other ones, but this one, oh boy. Come on, old silver, don't fail me now. You've got me through so many hard times in my life. I've had this controller since I was like fucking two. And I'm not even kidding. <laughs> I've had it for like 20 years. They blocked the road. So our vehicle has health. We're disguised as allies, so like, anyone who sees us. Oh, so here's our new first North Korea guy. Hello, sir. He's just shooting at me. So yeah, oh my god, I don't even remember how to play. How do I shoot? Let's go up. Hey, I want us to shoot. You bastard. You got into my own vehicle and started... This game's really hard to play, by the way. So yeah, we're, we're going against these guys. The North Korean soldiers who are just trying to protect their homeland. Okay. Hello there, sir. Ja. Also, it's good to blow up their cars, because you get money for doing that. Because again, we really don't like them for some reason in this game. Take your time, look around. This place is littered with secrets. Just don't go in the red areas, basically. It's the only rule of this game. Okay, I'm going I'm going over here because I know there is a uh, secret that's ammo. Square reload nope. Triangle reloads. Circle. Circle jumps. X reloads. Okay, so see these things? If you bash them with square, they drop stuff. Cool. 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 Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pick up this gun as my secondary weapon. I can also pick up their guns and stuff. So this is a game I was thinking of where you can kick the guns very far. 
It was not Max Payne. <laughs> it was this game. Ah, he's trying to get into his... This is an anti-air vehicle that they have, just chilling here. So there is people in it, so we're going to hijack it. Oh no, there isn't. But regardless, I'm going to... So yeah, we can get disguised as them if we want to, which I don't. So I'm going to bring this over with the other cars. Damn it. Yeah, th but in this game you can... Oop, oop, get a little bit of lag. In this game you can literally destroy anything. Like, anything. <laughs> Buildings you can destroy. These little sandbag things you can destroy. I don't want to do that. I want to man them up in. This to show you what it looks like. Can't because this stupid cars in the way. Get out of the way. You can also hit cars like that with your gun and get them out of the way. Yeah, this game is freaking cool. I love it. It's one of my favorite games. So if I man this weapon, I can now shoot anti-air missiles. Boom! See, look at that. Isn't that cool? Then I can also just go like that. Boom! Boom! I'm wasting the ammo on this to show you. There's explosions in this game. It's kind of like Just Cause, if you think about it. Um, if you think about it, anything's like that game. I'm just kidding. Um, no, but this game is very similar to uh, Just Cause because um, you can just destroy anything. That's why they call it the Playground of Destruction. Mercenaries Playground of Destruction. Great game. Cannot recommend highly enough. What are you doing, sir? Who's shooting at you? Who's shooting at you? What are you doing? I hear that North Korean guy. Where is he? Oh! Over here. Right. I knew there was a place you could go up and explore as a secret. It's over here. Hey. You stop that! You could take them down like that. That's how you want to capture the deck of 52 guys alive. They'll explain how to do that later, but... Essentially, that's how you do it. Ooh, RPG! So I actually want to keep the... Oh, that switches the grenades. I want to actually keep this. Carbine will do... F uh... So yeah, I'm going to keep the uh, assault rifle because that's pretty damn good. Who's, who is trying to... Who is trying to... Sorry, someone is texting me. Give me a second. Who is trying to drive? Here, sorry, I had to respond to a text. Someone's trying to drive one of these cars. Yeah, I'm setting up for something cool. Also looking for a box. There's a box around here that you can get as a collectible. But anyways, enough waiting. We got our RPG. Why? There you go. Oh, very laggy. <laughs> so yeah, you can blow up all those cars. Isn't that cool? Good times. Good times. So yeah, I'll be dicking around a lot in this game. Um, this is going to be our second ever Let's Play in the channel. Well, not our second ever, but like, our second one alongside Kingdom Hearts. My two favorite games I'm going to be playing. I already beat Max Payne, which is my third favorite game. But, yeah. That's what we're doing. We should probably go do what we're supposed to be doing now. Ah, uh, I just wanted to blow up those things and get money from them. Also, your car takes a lot of damage. I'll leave that car alive. Whoa, hello there. The area is a lot hotter than we expected. Hang on while I patch into the Allied uplink. I am under heavy Damn, fire. the North Korean stage an assault on the Allied HQ. I'm hearing reports of intense shelling in the area. Looks like you're just in time to be a hero. Oh, so if you beep at them, they'll come into your vehicle. And help you. Get them. Get them. Get them. Get 
Okay. Okay, we're looking for a box. I don't know if they appear yet, but... I can also destroy those buildings, too, but... Get him! Kill him! Yes, that just described what I just did. Alright. Let us continue forward. Attack! So that's where we go when we unlock more of the map. <laughs> you can also do this, which is kind of funny. Okay, something's gonna blow up here. Oh yeah, if you, if you help them kill their enemies, you get little, um... Um, friendship points with them, which is kind of cool. So they're bombing the crap out of this place. This is also one of those games you flip over a vehicle and it will blow up. So you guys have to forgive me, it's been a long time since I played this game, so I very rusty. What are you waiting for? Shut up. I'm waiting for you, you dingus. Ah. Head north to the Allied HQ. Garrett is expecting you. They're bombing the crap out of the buildings. Yes, all these buildings can be destroyed. And I will destroy them, do not worry. See, I told you they can be destroyed. So they're bombing the Allied HQ right now, which is kind of sad. So that's where we gotta go, we gotta talk to that guy. You can click R1 and you can get out. And you can click Triangle, they'll come out with you. But I want them to stay here. Right. Anything in here, sir? Okay. Let's go inside and talk to Colonel Garrett. I just want you to explain to me why we're still getting the crap chilled out of us. And I don't want to hear the words authorization, approval, clearance, or anything. Hmm. Now, who the hell is this? I agreed. A merc. You don't think I got enough problems? Get out of here! I don't need. Oh, this There's guy's of... voice isn't no. working. How did you know that Jin Ho Young was commanding that artillery? Oh, the audio is fucked up. All right, we'll give it a shot. You stop that artillery, verify the two of clubs, and maybe we can do business together. Major Howard here will give you some intel. Oh, ha Howard's a mutant one last version. Thing. Don't you ever interrupt me again. Oh, well, I didn't interrupt you in this cutscene like I was supposed to interrupt you, but um. Howard, we can get this mark out of here before one of those GSRN reporters shows up. So Garrett's voice is the only one that works. So his uh, subordinate does not work. Um, I don't know why. There's more audio if you linger around; they'll say some more stuff. Sometimes, but it looks like the uh, audio is a little fucked up right now. Um, I think that's just because of the way I'm recording this. But normally Howard speaks, but he didn't speak this time. Sad. It's alright. Howard is the lieutenant and Garrett is in charge of the um the freaking thing. It's one of freaking ours. allies. Oh wow, I always felt that from here. Yeah. You ready? We're gonna go out through two clubs. Check your PDA for the email. Okay, let's check what what it says. So what's our mission? Anti up. Okay, so Major Stephen Howard, that's the guy we just that didn't have a voice. Um contract. Anti up. Here's your chance to prove yourself, Mark. Veritai the two of clubs, then destroy his artillery. That should cheer Colonel Garrett up right up. We when we ask you to verify a card, we mean we need proof that they've been captured or killed. If you take them alive, we'll approve the an extraction helicopter to pick up the captive. Otherwise, just take a digital photo of the victim. XOPS will transmit the photo over to us. You get paid either way, but a kill is worth only half the bounty, okay? Dead is dead folks is bad TV. We like them alive, got it? Alright, good luck, Mark. Come back and see us when you're done. Contract and terms. Verify the two of clubs. Destroy North Korean artillery. Uh, bounty value, 250,000. Alive. 1250, dead. 
and then the contract value itself is 20, so we'll make $45,000 from this, guys. Um, yeah, so, any of you guys want to come with me? Am I full? I think I'm full. Um, yes, yeah, so you don't want to kill the, um, the club, the, um, deck of 52 members, you want to capture them. You only kill the normal, um, the normal soldiers. You idiot, what did you get out of the car for? Get in the car, you dingus. I need you. Oh, he's being a dingus. This game is free. I cannot stress to you enough how fun this game is, and it gets cooler as we go along. But I'm just so excited to show this off. So this is where they've been shooting from. So you can kill, like, these guys. That's fine. You just don't want to kill the, um... The ones that's that like the ones that have those um yellow signs or the blue signs on them because those are the uh, deck of 52 members. So yeah, we're going to do this. Damn, I'm still not good at this game. You think after all these years, I'll be better at this game. All right, everyone, go, 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 go! Ah! It is the mercenary. There we go. See, I helped them kill that guy, so they're happy with me now. You want to try to do that as much as you can. Whoa, little bastard. So if you double hit them like that, double melee them, they'll uh, die in two hits most of the time. So why does this game feel harder all of a sudden? Normally it's pretty easy. I think it's just because I'm not used to playing with this setup. Okay. Let's go up here. Are you just a regular member? Oh, I received some help email. What's the help email say? Help! Verification. Verify means provide proof of, ca uh, of capture or death to the allies. To prove you've captured a card and receive, f receive full payment, stun the target using melee bash or stun grenade, subdue the uh, target with a takedown, call in allied extraction call how to use support menu, 3A, try to pick a nice flat area for the helicopter to land. Uh, pick up the subdued target and load him or her into the helicopter. Yeah, there's actually a little movie left in this too. Um, 4A, if the current location isn't suitable for the extraction, you can load the target into the most trucks or cars, or you can drive them away from there, too. To prove you killed the card, uh, to prove you killed the card, receive half the primitive pie, lethal force to the target, and push the target with the digital photo. That's just telling you how you can, um, catch one. Then the deck of 52. What is the deck of 52? Um, the Allies issued a bounty on the debt on 52 key members of General Song's regime. 52 members. Can you imagine that? Each member is associated with a playing card and is commonly referred to by this designation. All f f all uh, deck of 52 members are high value targets, HVTs. That's pretty cool. With open bounties on their head. That's why XOPS has a presence in North Korea. You can use your field scope R3. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You get like uh, little glasses. That's the idea of. Um, their definitively ID a technical two member. HVT positive IDs will be confirmed to PDA map. Okay. Cool. Um so that means I gotta do that like this where you yeah, so like I can do like this. You can see where the enemies are, where there's allies, and there's friendlies and not friendlies. So he's over there, so you don't want to get him with the yellows. Don't shoot the guy with the yellow. That's who we want to capture. Try to take him alive. Get him close and press square. Yep, I will try. The two isn't usually a problem. Bash him. You alive still, too? I hope so. Yeah, purposely like leaving him alive and killing the other people around him. Hello, sir. So this is literally what you do. So you do square and then triangle to 
chain him up. He's under arrest. Excellent. He's not going anywhere. Now we call for an A extraction helicopter. Yes, and that did say C4. You did read that correct. Wait. So yeah, if you press the up arrow, you can um. So I'll tell you. Yep. See. I use the support menu. Get some cool stuff in the support menu. Help. Oh, support. Support items appear in the support menu accessed by pressing the up directional app button. Along with the name of the item, you'll see the cost if the item is available, the status if the item is available, unavailable for any reason, and the number of freebies supported offered at no cost available, if any. To use any supportive item, plus the R1 to equip it, then R1 to use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's kind of cool. You got a little support menu, so you do like this, and then I... So R1 to throw, that's also how you throw a grenade, I believe. You groaning, sir? You never groan. This is Expo 2. I am in the air. Great. Expo it should two. be here momentarily. Damn it. There's guns in the way. I hate when that happens. I gotta pick up him. Right I'm, I'm trying to pick him up. Look at that. This freaking gun was in the way. So yeah, we captured our first member. I'm gonna read you his description. Go as we captured him. And carry him to the helicopter. Is this gonna get annoying when they're still shooting at you and you're like, because if they shoot him, he'll die. Even if he's like you're holding him, so you gotta go in the circle, load him up to the helicopter, throw him on in. Perfect. One down, Yay. 51 to go. I always do this every time. No, do it again. Oh, yes. Yay! I'm happy. Chris is happy he captured someone. Name Jin Hong Young. Jin Ho Young. I might say that's wrong. Forgive me for mispronouncing. Rank two of clubs, bounty 25,000. Payment 25,000. He's been. Jailed. Sir, you are jailed. Okay. The providing air support. You should be able to target the artillery from here. Oh, this is cool. So they give me a surgical strike. So they basically say, hey, here you go. And they'll tell you what this is. So like help. Laser designation. Laser designation designated airstrikes are a type of support. Press and hold. R1 button to guide the strike, releasing R1 anytime early reduces accuracy. You can call in airstrikes in this game, guys. <laughs> yes, it is as cool as it sounds. So, if I go over here. So, it wants me to destroy these things, but I want to show you guys something before I do that. See that building in the background there? Let me, uh, let me just uh, take care of that building. Roger, target received. They gave me three, so it's okay. Bombs free. Yeah, that building is gone. It it, it collapsed. <laughs> so I'm rearming that. Okay. Wait, let's actually do what we're supposed to do. Roger, target received. Bombs free. Bombs free. Kaboom. You also get money for destroying anything in North Korea. Excellent. Now let's get the other one. You could also just, uh, you know, do this as well. But it's not as accurate. That should have blown up. Hey. Garrett will be pleased. Ah, oh, damn it. Now get back to the A and HQ. Don't tell me what to do. So yeah, it's kind of funny. You kind of have like a choose your own adventure game, kind of. So I got, I kept one just in case. All right, what do we want to annihilate next? I could go after their their HQ, but I'm not going to. Um, shut up! Stop telling me what to do. We're gonna blow up that building right over there. Roger, target received. I just had a free one, so I might as well use it. Bombs free. And they, yeah, they're just they're just cool doing that. <laughs> nice. I'll sort of go crouch and just, just hit R three. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's the whole game. So you just um go in, start causing trouble and leave. So we got we got like there are some secrets in this game some or extra things you can find. Do I throw a grenade again? I think it's L1. 
Yep. Those are North Korean cars, so we want to blow them up if we can. They give you so many freaking grenades, so... You don't have to feel bad about using them. See, it's like a thousand every time you blow up a vehicle. Okay, okay, I'm going, goddammit. So I kept the AK-47 because that's the kind of ammo they drop the most. See, oh yeah, see, like an extra thing here. Kick it away! <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Just trying to show the people you can have a lot of fun in this game. Ragdoll right, looks are real. I think this is where we attacked. Oh look, you guys survived! I'm happy for you. Get out of my car. Stop it! No. I always carry at least like a bunch of people with me. Can't really control them, but. Let's go over here. Do a heck and explore. It's kinda hard to see though. It's very uh grimy and gritty. There's a lot of smoke in the air too, so. This is where the artillery was. It's also where I destroyed some buildings. Yeah, see look. Everything's all destroyed. But it was also just props to begin with. What does that mean? This one guy is just not dying. Okay, good. Alright, let's go off-roading, bitches. Off-roading. Yeah, you can do that too. It's kind of cool. Yeah, <laughs> 69 HP. Nice. Let's go talk to Garrett so he doesn't before he flips out. Wow, what a mess. They really needed your help. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they freaking did. Look at this. This whole place is freaking destroyed. Go talk to the guard again. Alright, they're all. It's one of ours. Yes. Hello, sir. Usually he says something like, congratulations, but he didn't this time. So we got $20,000 for that, just for that mission, and we got the bounty, so... It's like $45,000 right there. Not bad. Maybe I was wrong about you. And I sure as hell don't mind the opportunity to get something done around here without wading through a sea of red tape. Mm -hmm. I may rely on you in the future. How's that sound? As long as the pay's good, I'm perfectly willing. Okay. I'm Colonel Samuel Garrett, commander of Allied forces in the area. This is Major Stephen Howard. I know you're here for the deck of 52. Now, most of them are open bounties, but the Aces? You need special clearance from us to go after them. You bring me enough intel, I'll get you that clearance. Speaking of which, you'll want to talk to the man leading... I'm sorry, advising South Korean forces in the area. Hmm. Company man called Buford knows more about what's going on around here than, well, hell, he knows more than he's telling, that's all I'll say. Probably already knows where Song is, the bastard. Now get out of here. I got work to do, come on. No, I'm not leaving. No, I'm getting in your I face. Wait, you get this Merc out of here before one of those GSRN reporters shows up? <laughs> he's just worried about the press. Uh, it says top secret on those files. Right, I'll leave. Don't just stand there, Merc. Song's out there with those nukes. Lives are on the line. Shut up. Shut up, Garrett. <laughs> I'm gonna blow up one of your headquarters later. <laughs> I think the, I think that is it. Here we go. Ace of Spades, General Song. He's the most dangerous man on Earth. Intelligent, ruthless, and highly disciplined. Currently holds the codes for the country's considerable nuclear stockpile. He must be stopped at all costs. Nice boots. Yeah, that gun he has is pretty damn good, by the way. Obviously, he's the final boss. <laughs> that whole scene is pretty cool. I've only ever done it once. Just get in the uh, 
the queen and the jack of spades it's really hard harder than getting him here we go I can finally save okay let's do a heck and save I can't believe I didn't have a save file on this let me see how long we've been uh, recording for oh not that long let's keep going I gotta turn it back into full screen mode for me though there we go takes a while to save Yeah, this is taking that long. It's old. It's an old game. Okay, it's just because it's the first time saving, right? So this time it shouldn't take very long. I hope. Uh, okay, I see. It's not as long the second time. It's just because it's uh, for a medevac. It's like if you need to evacuate. Okay, so ooh. So now we look at how much area we have to explore. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cities to explore. Look how cool. We got an email. Uh, Lay of the Land, Fiona Taylor. Uh, okay, let's get going. If we're going to find the deck of 52, we're going to need have to get in good with the local power brokers. Buford seems like a good lead. Let's pay him a visit. He's in charge of South Korea. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah, so... Let's start from collateral damage. Um, killing civilians is against executive operations policy. It's ethically wrong and costs the company good, a great deal of money to counteract the negative PR generated. Exops deducts these costs from your account in real time, causing harm to civilians. Press allies or their property costs us money. And we pass that cost up to you. You have been warned. Don't kill people in this game. Can't kill civilians. It's just kind of dumb, but you can arrest them. <laughs> challenges. Be on the lookout for challenges marked with an S. These are challenges, odd jobs you can do to pick up some extra cash. That's if you're running out of money for whatever reason. Medevac rescue. Here we go. That's what I was just talking about this. If you get yourself into a really tough spot out there, you can use a medevac option in the pause menu to save yourself. You'll be flown back to the Allied Mash. That's not this place. It's a different place. Saving. To save your progress, choose the save game option in the pause menu. You can save anywhere, provided you're not in a contract. You'll restart from the nearest safe location. Faction display. The, the left directional button toggle. Use the, oh, the left directional button to toggle the faction. Oh, I didn't know that. Faction display icons, which clearly show which faction in a unit belongs to on iPhone. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, Intel. Each deck of 52 member you verifies, you verify gives intel and helps determine the location of the ace. Collect enough intel and Garrett will authorize you to take out the ace. You can check out how much intel you've accumulated on the deck of 52 mode. Of the PDA. Okay, let me get the um, the weapons that I've gotten so far. Countless versions of the 7.9 millimeter assault rifle have been produced worldwide. Good stopping power, moderate and accuracy, very loud. Yeah, so it's bad if you're trying to do stealth with that, but you wouldn't use it to do stealth anyway. Also, I also have the RPG, so it should be getting that as well. Yep, weapons data as well. Every weapon you pick up, it'll do this. RPG, multiple per multiple multi-purpose anti-personnel and light anti-tank rocket launcher. Warhead can penetrate light armor, large explosion to effect reduced effectiveness against modern armor. Okay, so it's not good against uh, tanks. Anyways, we're done with this freaking area. Let's get out of here and explore. Burp, burp. So yeah, now the world is our oyster. So we're going to the, the South Korean flag. So I love blowing up this bridge, by the way. It's really fun. You got mail from the Allies about that CIA operative God working for the South Korean. Damn it. Buford. Agent Mitchell Buford helps the South Koreans run their, uh, their side of this conflict. He, he'll have lots of work for you and probably trade information on the location of the deck of 52. Don't be surprised if everyone else acts like his assistant. Major Park is running a show over there. Buford's involvement is publicly, isn't publicly known. He also works for the CIA. Don't tell anyone. South Korean CIA, but... Okay, let us go. Get out of the way, Mr. Ally. Also, it's really hard to turn up in this game. 
damn it! I usually just walk everywhere, but for the sake of the let's play, I will drive. I usually have a tank I'm always driving, but I haven't stolen one yet. Usually the thing carries me through the whole game. At least the first half of the game. Those uh, darker ones are the South Koreans. These things are the allies. Green is allies. Gray is South Korean. Yellow, I think, is... Is it yellow? I don't remember. Uh, it may not be yellow. It might be orange. Is um, the Chinese, and then uh, purple is the uh, Russians, I think. Oh. Also, I believe there's no train in this. That's he'll find out why there's no train. In cool missions. Damn, where's the collectibles? God damn it! I'm looking for. I'm still looking for that box. There's collectibles in this game. All over the freaking place. Oh, so there's a little dirt road. We should go down here. And not do that. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Kaesong! We're in Kaesong. Okay. At this point, I'm going to be walking around. Hello. Hello. I think that just means hello. Hello. Let me in. Let me in. I can get in here. Yes, I'm taking control of the machine gun. Machine gun does nothing on that. I have to get in there. There's collectibles in there. Yeah, so they have propaganda playing in the background, as you know, they would. In real life. In North Korea, there's a ton of propaganda playing all the time. I'm also looking for little posts. Maybe they're not unlocked yet. Ours. Okay, there's nothing in here yet. There will be. There's nothing in here right now. Oh no, there's something in here. What is that? No, I don't want to do the challenges. They're stupid. It's racing, and I'm not a big fan of racing in any game. Come on, let me in. Heck. Oh, don't make me explode it. You son of a son of a gun. You really gonna... There is a nuclear warhead in there that I need to get. Fine. The only issue is I don't want to have to just, like... Well, this is why we have C4. So we get C4. Um, get four of them. Help. Weapons later. C4. Compromission. C4 block detonation charge. Remotely detonated with radio transmission. Transmitter effective against buildings and armored vehicles. Larger buildings may require multiple charges. Yeah, we get C4, guys. And yes, we are going to be using it. I need to blow up this stupid gate to get in there and get the collectible. Just hope nobody walks by. That's not what I wanted to happen. What if I just walks by like nothing? I just wanted to get this. Look what we Pox got aerosol. 3,000 bucks. You're not gonna, really? You're not, game, you're not going to tell me why I needed to get that? That's a part of Song's chemical weapons. Um, he has them all over the place, just chilling. Collecting those will make South Korea's fraction towards you grow. And they are hidden literally everywhere. So unfortunate that I had to blow up that small building. To do it. 
Hello there. Let's go talk to Buford. Okay, I'm gonna do a save though. I can save. This is gonna be a longer episode, just because I have to get through the tutorials and stuff, so let's do a South Korean mission. I really, really love this game. Have I said that enough? It's one of my favorites. Expecting, expect a lot of weird games coming this, uh... Somebody translate that, I don't know what he said. A lot of weird, obscure games are coming soon to this channel. Stem the tide. 사령관님, 이분이 바로 계열 대령님이 전화하신 사립 계약자이십니다. 좋아서 우리 손 따라비지 않고도 이 일을 원수할 수 있겠소. That's good, right? Hey, how you doing? This is Major Park. He's a commander of South Korean forces in the area. My name's Buford. Hey, I've been Buford. the company's man in Seoul for 30 years. I'm here to make sure North Korea don't end up the smallest province in the People's Republic. Problem is. Langley didn't exactly supply me with a lot of personnel. Cash, I don't know who Langley is. I got. You'll get paid and then some. And we got some nifty toys. Now, if you're willing to do some simple grunt work for me, I'll treat you right. First things first. Song's men are eager to take back this city. So far, Park's troops kept them at bay. But Song is stepping up his offensive, and I don't want to lose Ku Song this early in the game. So, if you're up to it, I'm going to pay you to be Park's reinforcement. An army of one. So to speak. Sure. If you're interested, Major Park here will give you all the details. You got anything else to say, sir? Always wait around. They have dialogue. We got all sorts of sweet air support. We got a C-130 so full of shells and ordnance, things like one of those star destroyers from that space movie. <laughs> Made by Lucasfilm, by the way. I just want to say that. You got more to say? I know you do. They always have three sets of dialogue. Are you waiting for something? Park's men are dying while we're sitting here. Okay, that should be the last thing he's got. Remember, he can speak Korean, so he knows what these people say. That's why we're able to understand them. I just wanted to point that out. Faction mood. Go on an urban renewal spree by destroying Song monuments to improve the South Korean mood to you. Yeah, so if you see these statues of Song, you can plant C4 at them and then blow them up and the South Koreans will be happy. I'm gonna piss the North Korea off, but who cares? They already hear us. <sighs> I feel so racist playing this game, by the way. I'm not, but. Don't look too much into it. Annyeonghaseyo. Okay, so they give you a fr uh, that's not free, it's cost five grand for that. What do you think? Are you gonna be able to work with this guy? Probably. Um, contract, stem the tide. There are several... Oop, who sent this to me? Lieutenant Young Kim. I don't know who that is. Oh, it's Mr. Park. There are several points in the North Korean... The North Koreans might attack from I'll mark them. You'll have to defend them all. These South Korean soldiers are a bit raw, so they may run if rattled. You need to stay with them. Contract in terms. Defend the SKQ headquarters and maintain morale. Improve morale by repelling attackers. Morale decreases when SK forces die. NQ troops break through the lines or you abandon the defense. $55,000 for this. This money's green, isn't it? I've identified each of the points for you. They'll flash when NK troops are in proximity. You won't have long to get from point to point, so be quick. This is easier. Troops are attacking the north defense points. Actually, no, I don't want to be in here. I want to. No, 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 no. Get in the machine gun, quick. I hear my controller going crazy. So I have infinite ammo, unfortunately. I wish they did. I'm really plowing through this ammo, which is not good. Okay. 
So this gun is very difficult, by the way. I forgot to mention that. It's one of those really finicky games you gotta be... Like some of these missions you do later on, it's... Ah, uh, go to the east defense point. Hurry. Tanja. I hope that's uh, like something offensive that I just said, but... It's real Korean they speak too, by the way. I wish I understood it. No, 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 no. Oh, this is the best one. Rex Hassanison's rifles. This, this is cool. This is just like... Boom! Just straight up, like... Instant annihilation. They're gonna love me after this because of this. Boom! <laughs> this is a very fun part of the game. There we go, see, now they love me. We're in the green with them. Damn! <laughs> yeah, he reacts when you, um... Uh oh Tank! You do really crazy things, he'll react. Point. Hold on, there's another thing here. Okay, cool. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Race against the clock, race against the clock. I'm trying to... This is the grenade launcher side, by the way. It's not as good, but it's... Oh, I'll take it. Okay, okay, let me get in here. Oh, never mind. So this is a reconnaissance rifle. Oh. Sorry, I had to show you. You know, I got the rid of the morale, but... Hey, hey, hey. Excuse me, sir. Could you not? You back there. I see you. He freaking escaped, goddammit. Boom! NK forces are attacking the north defense point again. Damn it. I don't like the north defense point. Again, does anyone know what that guy's saying? I wish I did. So that guy took the side that didn't have a lot of ammo, I'll take this side. We also still attack while the vehicles are on fire, which is kinda crazy. Alright, the reinforcements are coming in. Okay, so we, we've beaten the mission at this point, essentially. Nice. Catching. Oh so, yeah, fifty-five thousand dollars in the bank. It's enough for me to live off of. And every time you do one of the missions for them, you get intel on the deck of fifty-two. Um. Okay, she's gonna say something about a different guy. But so we know now where Tao Han An, the five of clubs is. Agent Bluford has just sent me a report of Tao and Tao Ham M. I can't really read that because it's so blurry. 
The Five of Clubs. Apparently, he's overseeing construction of a military installation north of Pyongyang. His involvement is purely financial, so don't expect too much action if you go after him. The report says it's from major part, but since it comes from the CIA central computer at Langley, I presumed it was really from Buford. Buford. That bastard. Crates. Be on the lookout for supply crates. They contain all sorts of useful toys and can be broken open with a melee bash. We've seen, we've seen those already. Opportunity in Pyongyang. Uh, we've made a name. You've made a name for yourself, oh, Yusuf Yurinov. Uh, you made a name for yourself really quickly, my young friend. We have a room for someone like you in our organization. Come by our nightclub in Pyongyang, and I'll introduce you to my boss. Keep your mouth shut about this. Just forwarded you a message from a man named Yusuf Yurinov. I've got his file here. He's a major domo with the Russian mob. Dangerous, but almost certainly worth it in terms of money and intelligence. These friggin' bastards. Stop shooting at me. Damn it. Where are you? You douche. You freaking douchebag. These guys are shooting at me for some reason. Now, I'm going over here for a reason. There is a... First of all, this guy's here. There we go. There is a thing to blow up over here. This thing over here. So, you may not think this is a monument, but it is. So this is one of those things we gotta blow up to get in good with the South Koreans. That's something I was looking for, too. So they don't like this thing. So that must say something in North Korean, but I don't know. So there's one of the uh, monuments destroyed. Then I want to destroy these things. That gets you in good with the Chinese. And they're very useful. Only thing is, most of these uh, voice actors definitely sound American. <laughs> I feel like Buford shouldn't have sounded Amer shouldn't have sounded American, but he did. So every one of these buildings you can blow up, just so you know. I'm also looking for there's a box behind one of these places. I just don't remember where. It's very obscure. So yeah, we'll do um the tutorial missions for everybody, and then we'll. Uh, Get a demo on the episode. I just want to do the Chinese one and I want to do the Russian one. Um, just so we can get the introductions out of the way. Next episode, we'll go after some Deck of 52 members. Okay, I better uh, kind of move on then because I've been recording for a while. Like I said, this is going to be a longer episode just as a little intro. Um, this game is very long, as you can imagine. Oh, this is another one of those things, I believe. I hope. I could be wrong about this one. Don't worry about me using C4s. Um, I can get them back. Once I get into with the uh, Russian mod. Boom. Yep. So yeah, you want to destroy those things if you can. Because I'll be using my RPG instead of the C4s, that would probably be a better choice. Considering those are easier to get. So I'm just looking around for boxes. This place is kind of cool, though. It's a um, very cool map. I and it's um, there's actually two places. So this is like northern North Korea, and then you get southern North Korea. Well, this is where Pyongyang is. So I don't know, I don't know where that is in relation to everything else, but that's where we're going. Oh my God, that was a misclick. Thank God it didn't hit them. I'm just gonna walk away from that. Sorry guys. Actually, would you like to come with me? Come with me. I 
always bring them with me just in case. Ah, uh, boom. Uh oh, whoa. Card glitched out there when I hit that. Do not. So yeah, we got we got a couple things. I don't know if I'll be getting all the collectibles. I'll try to get as many as I can, but there's a lot of them, so don't expect me to get all of them. I do know where all the deck of 52 members are, though, because I have captured all of them. There's one actually up there, but I'm not going to get him right now. Just stick to the missions right now. Whoop. This is where the airport is, I believe. Ah, yes. There is something over here, though. You idiot, those... Uh-oh, he's gonna, he's gonna deploy it. Go ahead, fire! Get them! Yeah, see, I knew there was something here. Give me that. Nothing. So this thing... Ah, uh, you have nowhere to run, you dick. You had somewhere to run. He dead. He dead. And I saw my South Korean friends, but that's okay. They will respawn eventually. Yeah, so Pandemic Studios made this game, and so did Lucasfilms. Weird, huh? Who would have thought? There is a machine behind me. You can see it going. Also, I know I'm a horrendous driver in this. Oh my, oh my, uh oh. Oops. Oops. <laughs> uh, it's gonna catch on fire too, because some, no it's not, it's just, it's not sideways, but I can just do like, oop. Well you can just flip it over if you really want to. Look at that, see? Back on its side. Alright, let's go talk to the Russian mob. I just want to see if there's anything behind there. So there is stuff in here. Again, I'm just going to go out to the collectibles that I know where they exist. See, this is because you have to go in here for the mission. So I remembered there is stuff in here that's not related to the mission. Ow, ow, sorry. Itchy eyeball. Get on top of the car, you can do it. Get up there. Get up there. Son of a bitch. Alright, I'll figure it out. Hold on. So, yeah. This game. 10 out of 10, man. Well, it's not 10 out of 10, but it's a pretty damn good game. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that. Can I shoot it down, maybe? Because you can't do that. Get over here. Oh, damn it. Fine, I'll throw a grenade up there. Son of a bitch. Fine, I'll rocket launch it up there. There we go. Look what we got here. ICM, ICBM specs. Intercontinental Ballistic Missile Specs. That's what that stands for. Basically, big old nukes. Again, why does Song just have them laying around here? I don't know. I guess he wanted to go into hiding, so maybe he just like abandoned it. That says something in Russian. So we're in the Russian territory. So they took over Pyongyang. 
kind of weird how the Russians would take over Pyongyang, but... Hey, who am I to judge? General Song is, is a father to the Korean people. Supposedly. Ah. Guess you can blow up that giant arch. Doesn't do anything, though. Okay, let's go talk to these... Uh, wait, there's something to do over here first. Not shooting at you guys. Calm down. Oh, now you're over here. It's gonna be hard to get this thing. Can you guys like not be over here, please? Go through the friggin' wall. Okay, hold on. Sorry! <laughs> it needed to happen. Alright, let's go talk to the friggin' Mafia. Go on in! Go on in! They speak kind of English. Hey, alright! Just what I need, a professional. My name is Sergei Voronov. This is my lieutenant, Yosef. We run the, um, discreet supply business around here. Everyone here needs stuff. Vehicles, weapons, you name it, and we supply it. Discreetly. That means no one asks any questions, including you. I'll kill anyone who betrays my trust. You got a problem with that? You got a problem working for a killer? Huh? Nope. Answer me. Put your gun down. <laughs> Yosef is right. Listen, you're a mercenary. You'll be working for lots of people. I know how it is. But, you want some extra cash? You come to Sergei. Speaking of which, I got a job right now you could take. Okay. I'm going to test you out. See if you've got what it takes to work for me. Bring me one of Song's troop transports. Should be easy to find, but not so easy to steal, eh? If you want in, Yosef here will give you all the details. On the other hand, you can say no and walk out that door right now. You do what you want to do. I'm walking around, exploring your place. This is a good job, you know? Plenty of opportunities for me and for you. Yeah, sure. I'm just exploring. Let's get away from Drew's third line of dialogue. You like girls, eh? I can get you some girls. I can get you anything you want. Speaking of which, Yosef! When is that uh, pharmaceutical shipment coming in? He's a drug addict, by the way. Don't underestimate him. He may act like an idiot, but he's a ruthless killer. So you can tell his uh, second in command is kind of just dealing with his shit. <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh, Chris's supervising officers in the combat applications group noted his command and leadership skills and. A strong bond he enjoyed with his fellow soldiers. He received several promotions in only a few years. So you get a little bit of lore of their character, of your character uh, through the loading screens, which is kind of cool. So yeah, he was in charge of a combat group for a while. I think was for the Navy, if I remember correctly, or the Air Force. One of those two. Something wrong with Sergei. I don't trust him. Don't worry, I've dealt with his type before. Here we go. Let's read over the mission. This one's kind of cool. Help. C4. Yep. Uh huh. We know how to do that. Okay. Contract foothold. The Russians are looking for to give to give you a little test. They're looking to give you a little test. Most of the North Korean forces in Pyongyang have left the area, but there's a holdout force in East Pyongyang. The Russians want you to break into their combat and steal a transport. We also got a bonus if you take out the um, emplaced machine guns around the perimeter. Oh, right. I thought this was the second mission. This is the first one. Steal NK transport and deliver it to the Mafia Garage. Destroy three machine guns. Uh, regular value is 300,000. Sorry, 30,000. And then effect the bonus is another 10. Cool. Okay, so we gotta destroy some stuff. Where's my um my vehicle, by the way? 
That would have helped me. That's why I have the, uh... That's why I have this, though. So you see, they're all the way over there. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! They're killing civilians in the street! Okay. So we're gonna destroy three machine guns. Not so bad. There's only scattered resistance in the area, but those machine guns could be dangerous. Let's see if I can get them. Heavy machine gun. Oh, that freaking missed. There you go. Okay, okay. It's good to get to know you. That's what I always thought they they would say when they said that. That's what it sounds like. Look, I don't speak freaking Korean. I wish I did, like I said, but I don't. Oh, another one of these. Cool. Look what we got here. You have a. You had a look like you had a freaking rocket launcher. Okay, okay, let's uh. Let's uh. Let's this here. Kaboom! Good work, only one more left. So, yeah, this isn't too bad right now. Still manageable. Ah, kaboom! That's the last of the guns. Now grab that truck and you're good to go. Yep. Roger. Let's grab the truck. Grab the frickin' truck. Also, these friggin' buildings keep spawning them. But you can destroy these as well. I think it just takes three of these, right? Yep. Now they won't spawn. Yeah, obviously, they're after weapons. What else would they be after? Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. Okay, cool. So there's weapons caches in here. A lot of them. Let's break open all the boxes. Lots of RPGs and stuff. Assault rifles. Other things. SMG. Well, we need to get this, so let's get this. That thing went flying. So yeah, now we're out of there, so let's... Just escape these uh, North Korean guys. Leave me alone, leave me alone. I'm stealing your transport truck. This thing actually comes in handy later on if you um, are able to steal it. It's kind of funny. So your choices kind of matter. So you can sell vehicles to them as well. Get money to them. If you if you bring us others, we'll make sure something. So you got forty grand from that. Surgical strike, Russian supply, Allied supply, Mafia tactical vehicle. Okay, so so who did we get? So we're gonna have to visit the Chinese as well. So we get the Merchant of Menace. This is our login, Vladimir. Vladimir. <laughs> That's funny. Um, 
Shop, the Russian Mafia and the black market in North Korea. If you do them some favors, you can get, their lo get a login to the website. Merchants of Menace is a, here's how to use the shop. And that's just how you use it, it's pretty easy. Chop Shop, we run a chop shop in Pyongyang East. It's just down the street from the nightclub. We always look on the lookout for vehicles. Bring them to us and we'll pay you. Plus, it'll be doing us a good turn. So that also gives them a um, good relationship with them if you do that. The Four Clubs, Yem Park. Sorry, Yiman Park. I just received intel from Yosef. His men are reporting that the Four Clubs, Yiman Park, is operating somewhere north of Haiju. Haiju? Maybe Haiju? Um, I'm not sure how reliable the intel is. I'm surprised it's coming from Yosef and not from Sergei. It's really well put, to put together, too. Very professional looking. Park specialized in blackmail and grafts. It's a very savvy guy. Probably nothing to worry about in a fight, though. So they're kind of pussies, is what she's trying to say. Colonel Zhao Peng. After you finish that contract for Buford, I did some research on where his troops are positioned. Seems like his main rival is the man commanding the Chinese forces in the area, Colonel Zhang Peng. Probably some opportunities there, too. We'll check that out, do that mission, and then we'll end the episode. Because this is getting very long at this point. I've identified another possible source of income and intel. Check your PDA for the email. I did. Way ahead of you, Fiona. Fiona Taylor. She's cool. She's funnier in the second game, but... Not a huge fan of the second game. Well, I kind of, I like, there's some things I like about the second game and some things I don't. This is still my favorite one. Who should be the third game? But there, alas, there is not. There's also some um, crates on one of these buildings, but... Um, Lord knows if I'm gonna ever be able to find it. We'll go through all these cities eventually and start destroying them. Learn to drive, sir. Ah. That's the Chinese, right? Or is it North Korean? It's North Korean. Whoop. Is this where the plane fell down? Yes. This is where the big giant jet fell. Really, there is something hitting in these remains, but I don't know. Like I said, we'll be back for those later. Hmm. They bombed the crap out of this place. Ah, kaboom! I'll just bump into them every now and then. Just to remind them who's boss. Okay, let's just go to the Chinese. Oh. Pongyang Airport. So they control the airport. Which is kind of smart. So they can control who comes in and out. It's one of the places I would try to take control of, too. Blue means a uh, restricted area. But, like, allied restricted area. So, like, because uh, Chinese are our friends, um, it's blue. If they're our enemies, it'd be red. Which can change in a drop of a hat. Oh, that's what I was looking for down there. So you gotta keep an eye out for all these things. Give me that. Look what we got here. Speed hack. So also, um, as you collect those things, more things unlock in the shop. Which is why it's important to collect everything. Totally. Totally. Mm -hmm. I think that's real Chinese as well, or Mandarin maybe? I don't know. Faja. Faja. Nah. Nah. -huh. Is that? Nope. That's just the alarm. Let me set off the alarm. Let's go over here. 
Look what we Aluminum got here. tubes. Oh, come on. I know there's a big, um, freaking collectible around here. Look, I got them all on alert. Again, I wish I could understand what he's saying, but I can't. Okay, cool. Um, hmm, I thought one of these boxes was... Maybe I'm imagining it, I don't know. Alright, let's go talk to him. Colonel Peng will see you. Okay, Colonel Peng will see me. I don't know if I've been recording anyway. A mercenary. Violence for profit. The two hallmarks of Western ideology together in one package. My name is Colonel Zhao Peng of the People's Army. I will tell you now that I disapprove of using private contractors, but the People's Army is large and slow to rouse. If I am to secure this province for China, I must employ your services or risk losing the initiative. Working for the People's Republic involves many dangerous and unpleasant duties. Dealing with me, chief among them. Reward my trust with loyalty, and you'll have access to our considerable support. China is a vast and powerful nation. Acting as our ally means you will be unstoppable. If you are willing to help, I have a job for you. The North Koreans set up a communication to the North that allows them to spy on us. Get rid of this irritation for me, and we may have more work for you in the future. This is my associate, Captain Liu. If this contract interests you, speak to him. He hmm. will give you all the details. The door is right there. If you are not interested, please depart. Yes, you can kind of choose if you want to do these missions. Somewhat. But I do. I just like to wait for the dialogue. Before we can properly administer this province, we must first get rid of the remnants of General Song's army. Yep, that's a good idea. Just got one more piece of dialogue. I'm just looking around. Song is an experienced commander, but his army is insignificant compared to mine. Sure. Sure thing, dude. What have you say? Chinese BJ2020 Scout, made in China. This half ton four wheel drive is perfect for light tactical transport station. Includes swivel mounted 7.62 millimeter PKM machine gun. Cool. Probably be driving those as time goes on. I believe this is the mission I find my tank in, so <laughs> probably we're going to capture that and be driving that everywhere. But we're still in the tutorial, believe it or not. And to this, we're on our own. Artillery strike. Two of them. Nice to know the end of the Cold War hasn't thawed the Chinese any. Oh, six months after the uh, just Cold War. Never mind. Okay, mission loadout. Um, the Type 87 APC tank parked outside the HQ is available for your use in this uh, contract. Additionally, given your proximity to the mission area, the Chinese can provide you one 52 millimeter airburst uh, shell support if you need it. Uh, uh, contract pest control. I'm sure you have a lot of fun with a with the heavy firepower provided by the Chinese. Uh, do, contract in terms and conditions. Destroy NK outposts at Children's Museum. Fifty thousand dollars for it, guys. Sure, he'll warm right up once you get to know him. Yeah, he will. He's actually a pretty cool guy. All right, guys, come on. Yeah, so. You move with the sticks for this one. Kashi Singo? Kumenasai? That's Japanese. I don't know. Trying, I am trying to figure out what they're saying. <laughs> Maybe he's saying, let's go. And this, that's another tank we can steal if we need to. I like to keep an army of these guys behind me. 
whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. No, 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 no. What did I do? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, shit, I didn't mean to click that. Still getting used to the controls again. It's been a while. Ah, oh, I hate when that happens. Sometimes I won't be paying attention, I'll just decide to flip over on me. Don't attack me, Chinese people. Ah! Rog! Go get them! Uh, how do I get them out of the car again? There you go. Go get them! Go get them! They'll handle those guys, and I'll handle these guys. There's a museum! Destroy it. There's a museum! I think I can destroy the... Yeah, so, actually, I gotta destroy... Hey, I just got an email from Chinese HQ. I found the buildings they're interested in on the satellite industry. Check out your PDA for the coordinates. Okay, so we got, a, we got an extra thing now. Contract updated, pest control. The Chinese discovered four NK barracks in the museum. I've negotiated a 10,000 bonus per barracks you destroyed. But what is co revised contract that supersedes the previous ones I sent to you? Nice. So, 10,000 poor barracks destroyed? That's a beach structure. Guys, that's cool. Also, I believe this is... Oh, uh, yeah, you see that? There's a, there's a thing of song there. Statue of song. Kaboom! Oh. Kaboom again? Oh, it takes three of these to destroy them? Really? Oh, that's four! Five! Gosh darn it! That's gonna hurt me. Kaboom! Good job. That's another NK building taken care of. So there is people up here. Let's continue. Ja. Okay. Hey, Mr. Song. Sorry. Kaboom! That takes three of these to kill him. Sorry, Mr. Glorious Leader Statue. Kaboom! Kaboom! See, that's why. Uh, no, that's why I attacked this building. That's why I always attack this building. <laughs> I just, I just destroy like everything. Ah! Gotcha now, dude. I don't think that got him. That's okay. Is there any more ammo for the tank? Oh no, the tank! There is ammo for the tank. Get it! Oh god, don't get stuck on a tree. Come on! Luckily, this tank it seems to be bulletproof, so it's okay. What the hell? Kaboom. Yeah, so this makes it a lot easier. They also have artillery things there. Let us continue. Are you kidding me? You survived, you asshole. I don't know where you are, but I'll get you. I have to focus on these places first. I 
missed. Kaboom. Kaboom. Kerboom. Nice. So I got the four, four of those. I try to do the bonuses if I can. Some of them I can't do. But I try anyway. Okay, attack! Ah! Damn it. They were smart and they used these things against me. Oh god damn it. Well, this game is actually hard without a, without a tank. Oh, see, there, there's something I need. This is what I've been looking for, these things. Ah! Uh, give me your health. Okay. I think we're good so far. What the heck? Picked up a... something. Anywho. I just want to show these things up before I destroy the museum. These things are pretty cool. Use the artillery. Ugh, it's really slow though. Eh. I'm getting that statue that's in front there. And that little thing. Cool. Hang on, I just gotta respond to another text. Okay, let's go destroy that thing. Oops. Sometimes it bugs out a little bit. Okay, let's do a surgical, an artillery struck. Okay, beacons are like this. So I want to. Is it like uh, I throw it? Yep. Get out of there. Take a smoke screen. Get out of there. Now watch what happens. Uh. Nice. So we got ninety thousand from that. Isn't that awesome? Cool, cool. Okay, let's check the intel we got here. Oh, they're still firing. Oh. So we found the three of clubs. Su Young Kim. I'll read that later in the next episode. I'm actually running out of time right now. Okay. Um. Anyways, that's gonna end it for this episode, guys. I hear people coming in my house, so I have to go. Um. I will see. I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Mercenaries. I enjoyed playing it. That's for sure. Um. Yeah, uh, if you did enjoy this, please leave a like and subscribe for more. Um, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye, guys. Have a good one.